I was appointed as homeschool community liaison officer in, in Scalisa here in, in Ballina a couple of years ago and I was approached by one of our parents, Lena Collins at the time, and she asked me would I consider getting involved in a project with the National Museum of Ireland uh, to, I suppose, put together a book based on traveller culture. Back in July 2018, um, there was an exhibition in the museum and our president, Michael D, launched that exhibition in July. And this was the Traveller's Journey exhibition. So our children back in October 2018, they were brought to the museum and they were asked to kind of respond to the exhibition. And from that came 10 weeks of a process of art process with Cass here in the school. Cass and Mary, the Cass was the artist and Mary was the writer. And they came together and worked with the kids and the end product was our book. The Giant Tint is uh, a book that was produced by Squalisa National School in Ballina and involved youth project. How I got involved is that kids own publishing who actually were in charge of producing this book uh, were looking for an artist that was going to work on the book and that artist would also work with the writer. So there was going to be visuals and there was going to be writing in the book. The overall brief of the project was to make cultural diversity more visible with a special focus on travellers. And I had some experience of working with travellers, so I think that's why I was kind of got involved in the project. Hello, everybody. Yeah, just watery paint. Look, squeeze it and the paint goes up into it. And then you can start. Around, let's see. And I'm going to drip it off. Like that. So, now the big thing about these pipettes is keep the blue ones in the blue container, the red ones in that. What happens if I put the blue into the red? Yeah, it'll mix and it won't give it a nice bright colour. It'll darken that down to purple. Okay, bring them over here for hanging up. Look. Okay, good work everybody. So uh, this is the book and the book is called This Giant Tent. And so in the book uh, it features the artwork of um, the, the artwork of the children and it features some extracts from their interviews with Mary the writer. Travellers are different because they are very religious and into God a lot. It's part of staying in contact with those who passed away in your family. We do that when we pray and go to the chapel and visit the graveyard. I think it's funny when people say, why do you say you're a travellers if you don't travel? But it's confusing as well. We travel to visit our relations in this. We have our own language but I don't speak it much. We have friends in all different places and we speak English to each other. It was in the old days that the travellers spoke hand, but not as much anymore. I'm a traveller more than being Irish. For most people, being a traveller is more important. I never heard of any discrimination in Bamna because no one does it to anyone. We are treated the same and we treat everyone the same. My hopes for the future would be that the travellers be more popular and that certain people know more about us and the travellers' language got going again. One thing I noticed that you said there is that being a traveller is more important to a lot of people than being Irish. And I think that's a strong uh, theme that's coming up, that uh, how important identity is to people. And Katie, you said something similar in your piece, so would you mind reading your piece? Rachel, Alana and Katie, we are all cousins. This is important to us because of friendship and we are very close. It's good to have friends because you always have someone to talk to and to know exactly what you're on about. And maybe you share the same name and the same extended family. We are from another group called Travellers. Being a traveller is the most important thing in our lives. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what colour you are to be friends though. We are friends with everyone.
So Involve Youth Project, we're based here in Ballina and we work with young people from age 8 to 24. You, it's mainly young people who come from the travelling community, but more recently uh, children have brought their friends along, so it's quite an, an involved group. So we have people from all different communities that engage with us here. You know. um, so the project started a couple of years ago, maybe five or six years ago, um, through the museum working with Mayo Traveller Support Group and we are we're, we do a lot of collaboration so we have known a lot of the people who started the project linking with the museum and through that it was kind of a natural progression that the Traveller's Journey exhibition started in the museum and then there was a uh, an idea to involve young people so this is where the book project came from. from somebody else's page so who'd like to start off and read out what you've picked to read? At the start, I was kind of iffy about it, like I didn't really want to do it, but then I actually started to like really enjoy it, and it just got better and better, and then we had to tell like our own stories, and I didn't really know that much about anybody in my family, so I had to ask, and I learned a lot of new things about my family and all that, so, and I didn't know like a lot of stuff about my friends, and so I found out a lot of stuff, so it was good. It's called This Giant Tent, and it's about like all different cultures, but the travelling community especially. And like, I've, I'm not a traveller myself, but like I've grown up with travellers and all that. And it's really good, like all the books, like all the, like the book, it's like good, so. The children in both projects really wanted an exhibition, like what you see behind you. So um, we worked towards that. So the, the, um, the approach I took was a three prong approach. We looked at an artist quite intensely over the 10 weeks. We got immersed ourselves in the art materials and we investigated themes of culture and identity. For the Squalista project, we looked at Jean-Michel Basquiat, who is an American black artist who became very successful um, in the 80s. And for the Involved project, we looked at another American artist, Joseph Cornell. Joseph Cornell wasn't a painter, he was an assemblage artist and he was famous for these display boxes. So, we did display boxes with the Involved Project where they made mostly three-dimensional stuff to go in to their boxes that described mostly things that they loved in their own lives. Well, what they got out of it was they got a chance to, first of all, to express themselves and to think about their own identity. And, you know, that's important to children. And they, they do like to, to think about themselves and to draw their own pictures and their own portraits. But they also got to realise that there are other cultures in the class and in the world and I mean I think the the title is so apt in this giant tent you know it's, we're all a part of this big community big world community and I think the children actually really understand that after doing the book you know I, that's a very strong message for them and from them. make a book with all my friends in my class and I felt so like proud of like everyone and myself too like the art made me more believe in myself I was like I used to be like so shy and like think that I'm like worse at everything but the cast and all of that made me believe in myself that I can do better and I can I can try my best even if it's not perfect I saw the finished book, it was, it was amazing. Um, everyone, everyone enjoyed it, like everyone was really happy about it. Um, there were a few people that were nervous, but like then they, they got really happy, so it was, it was really good. I think overall the project was hugely successful because it fell on very fertile ground. Like you have, like between Squalisa, the museum, and Involve, there was enormous kind of commitment to um, equality and really celebrating cultural diversity. That kind of whole atmosphere and whole value was there and I think that's out of that grew a, a magic book. <laughs>